Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on True Divine 44. Check out all of my socials in the description box and please add me as a friend, you know, follow whatever you want to do, whatever socials you are on. I appreciate getting to know you more and you get to know me more. So um, have a look at those. So I'm trying to be on um, other platforms such as BitChute and whatnot, but you know, I'm being um, patient with that because one, I am not technically minded at all, unfortunately for you and me, <laughs> um, but also those platforms are new. Uh, they're expanding outside of the box, hopefully um, from the likes of YouTube. So I'm trying to just maintain getting the videos up when I can. It seems to be a bit slower. Um, there seems to be hiccups here and there, uh, but, you know, it's important that we do support these other avenues of speech, of dialogue, where we can share our wisdom and knowledge together and just share um, general discussions together with freedom. And of course, that's getting locked down a lot on, on other platforms as such as this. So it's to try and not be too antsy with these new platforms as they're competing against the big giants. So check them out. Um, you know, follow me on there if you wish to do so. I really appreciate it if you do. And this is the daily readings that I do where I combine the energy work that I do and the tarot work that I do to bring you foresight, knowledge, wisdom, to help you with your day, uh, allow you to have foresight with the energies that you may feel within you, around you, and indeed within others. And what the cards say as to how you can reach your highest potentials or avoid your biggest disasters in any given day. So today is for the 3rd of May 2021. Days just ticking on by. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, number 10 on the bottom of the deck. This speaks to um, the Wheel of Creation going round. It speaks to the ebb and flow of life. It speaks to the changes and change is one thing we can guarantee is going to happen. Uh, it, it, life is continuously evolving and unfolding and developing. Now the queen, uh, sorry, the queen, the wheel of fortune is asking us to take control of our own destination, of our own wheel, to work with the energies around us, to um, even the energies that are um, resistant to us, that are a resistance and opposition to us, to find a way with wisdom, um, to develop ourselves within them, like a flower that you know pushes itself and finds the smallest crack in the concrete to, to grow and, and bud out of it finds that resistance, but within that resistance, it finds determination and it, it seeks the light. It seeks to be seen. It seeks to rise up, to level up. And this is where we do have to take back control and dominion over our own lives and um, practice that in everything that we do, in the decisions that we make, allow ourselves to be guided by our own intent, our own determination and intuition. And so that's a real strong message for today because the Wheel of Fortune comes up again within the reading in the clarifying deck. So it is, today is the day to take a hold of your wheel. Today is the day to recognize that this is your experience. This is your lifetime. This is what you came here to do, um, whatever that is for you, and to take absolute dominion and control over that in your authority, in your sovereignty, for your own greatness. Uh, on the bottom of the deck we have, on the clarifying deck, the six of wands. So this speaks to victory within the energy of taking control of your own wheel, working alongside the energies that are around you um, and within you, creating a balance between those energies within and around you, making decisions that you get into a place that is more resonant, that resonates with you much more than, than whatever you have been not resonating with what has not been working for you, um, what has not been a, even a resistance that adds to your growth and taking control of that, making decisions with full intent um, in sovereignty, in divinity, in authority, there is victory 
within this for you. And this victory today will be seen real quick. Um, and that's not to say that it's not difficult to find that victory today, for sure. Uh, things are ramping up in our individual lives and in our um, uh, in the, the determination that these so-called powers that be have to channel us and use their wheel, use our wheel as their own to channel the direction of the collective as we go into this next cycle. And the Wheel of Fortune speaks about cycles, you know, it's turning, it's the circle, it's the never ending, um, evolving uh, part of life and finding the balance points within that, whether it's in the ebb or the flow, uh, you can always find some victory in that if you're acting in divinity and sovereignty. I want to go into the fact later on that from the collective stage point of view, there's a mixed bag. Uh, I want to speak about Australia with these two cards on the bottom of the deck in that um, there's a, there's a feeling of victory, particularly for farmers over in Australia that have been living with the um, ramifications of the likes of the gates of hell and um, other uh, Chinese parties buying up uh, key parts of land to block off water to farmland that used to be naturally watered by a natural stream, etc. There's, there's a feeling of victory here that they have been quietly pushing in the background to survive and uh, feels like they've been petitioning the government, putting pressure on. And there's some kind of victory today here that has, they've acted as a conduit where the, um, the authorities are starting to recognise what has been happening slowly but surely, uh, where there's key, key, key points of land, very key, important parts of land that, that feed other lands, that create um, abundance in food, etc., have been getting bought up and have been very strategically placed and very strategically bought up through these parties. Um, excuse me, I need to cough and I don't want us to mute. And a cough in the mic. So, um, so there's a victory in this, but also it speaks of that there is um, a ramping up of, 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 of war, uh, a realization that there is going to have to be some kind of taking action, taking a stand within this Wheel of Fortune to gain any victory. But for now, it feels like a victory today that these farmers in particular, as well as other people, um, indigenous people in particular too, have, have feel a, a victory. And it's important that they, they grow on that. They, they keep pushing on that victory to, to roll it out into a bigger victory. But watch out for that uh, war drums over in Australia. Um, what else do I wanna say? There's something else coming up, but it, uh, it'll come up through the reading. So we've got, as the first card, the Page of Swords, but it's in reverse. And so this speaks of slander. It speaks of um, tittle-tattle, you know, lo lo lots of little voices um, uh, uh, around you, if this resonates with you. And in general, just you may be not affected by it personally, but witnessing all of this ridiculous tittle-tattle, all of these little um, slander things that people are saying people attacking people um, and doing it in a very immature way doing it in a very um, low vibe way uh, as far as your individual life this brings about um, the realization of this happening today the rumors that you sort of have known as rumors and are known in your gut that are true that those around you those that are even close to you are actually um uh, you know, behind your back, slanderously talking about you and doing other actions to to try and harm you or your business or your other friendships, etc. It brings about a halt to it and it brings about an actual something that you've been putting up with for a long time, knowing in your gut there's not right. And so that's a heavy burden. That's a heavy thing to be carrying. It's hard to balance that out. And it's certainly hard to take control of your wheel and have a, a victory within your own life if you're putting up with that kind of childish bullshit and so um 
the Ten of Wands clarifies the Page of Swords in reverse. So this speaks of, we've got the Ten here and the Ten here. So the Ten in the Minor Arcana in the Ten of Wands and the Ten in the Wheel of Fortune. And so we've got this, this ending to what actually you didn't realise how difficult it was until it's gone kind of thing or until it sort of is erupting like a volcano. You didn't know how much pressure actually you were putting yourself under in your daily life life by putting up with this little tittle tattle and, and not going with your gut to act on it um, until it's gone. It's a little bit like you don't know what you've got till it's gone, but you don't know what you've been putting up with until it's off your shoulders. You don't know how much it weighs until it's off your shoulders. You know, you're carrying a big backpack and somebody's gradually, you know, just adding stones behind your back while patting you on the back and smiling. You know, it's, it's a gradual thing. You find that you can carry more weight that way in that you find an endurance within that and this is where you become a bit of a martyr and this is not of the light you know the light is of divinity and sovereignty and authority over your own energy over your own space and um if you picture this backpack, all of a sudden when you take it off, the Ten of Wands representing this backpack, that's when you feel the blood flow coming back into your shoulders. That's when you feel the blood flow coming up your spine and going around your muscles and you think, oh, that was constraining. <laughs> that was that, that was pulling me down. And so this today, somehow, some way, more truths come out, the universal energies, you know, if you find the truths, it happens with me, um, and I love energy for this reason, and that it is not a judgment, it just goes where it is attracted to go to, it goes where it is drawn to. You know, so if you're putting out the intent of clarification, I want clarity over this, I want, I want to know where the source of this has come bang, you get somebody telling you some information that you now know to be true, or you see something or read something and think, ah, got it now, I've got it, let me just take off these this pile of stones that you've been putting on my back. Let me just release myself of that and give that back to you. Yeah, you have it. You have your stones. You, you walk with that just fine. I don't want anything else from you. Just you, you keep your stones, so to speak. Um, story time. So this is where you are bringing about um, through revelation of, of what your gut instinct has been telling you for a long time. And um, through revelation of this, this is where you are releasing that cycle and taking control of your wheel in releasing that cycle. For those of you who don't take control of your wheel and this is happening to you, for those of you who continue to have that back backpack um you know maybe slit a little slit in the bottom of it and think that'll do you know i'm just going to release a little bit here and a little bit there no because these people who like to do this kind of thing they do have a drive for it they do have an intent for it much more than you probably do and so they'll keep they'll add bricks you know that don't slide through that crack you know so it's important that you do help yourself by bringing about an end of a cycle once you have this gut feeling alongside these revelations that confirm it for you um We've got the King of Swords as the next card. So remembering that swords, just in case you're new to tarot, remembering that swords represent words, thoughts, wisdom, intellect, knowledge. Um, the King of Swords, you can see he's got his sword upright um, and very calmly has his hand on his knee here. He's squared off, but very calm under the face of um, slander, very calm under the face of um uh, people throwing stones and uh, is is resolute in being able to he doesn't explain his authority he exudes it he exudes with that royal blue on and the sword pointing upwards his truth is what sets him free quite literally his truth is what gives him um that that squared off look that authoritative look that people just don't mess with so once you enter into this energy by by releasing yourself from that backpack once you enter into this authoritative energy it's very hard for anything to touch you in a detrimental way the king of swords is strategic is knowledgeable and is full 
full of wisdom and most of all is very fair he is of the mercury so the gemini he sees both sides of things and his sword represents uh and is 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 balanced is you know is keeping himself squared off is he's got his knees open but his his heels together so it, the, there's certain aspects of him that he holds back um in a very timely manner he will release his wisdom his words his thoughts uh but he's very strategic in the way that he does this um and for good reason uh but he does not suffer, suffer fools and so there's some kind of um need for you to give yourself that authority allow yourself to enter into that energy that gives you this this um aura of sovereignty and divinity that gives you this aura of this is of the light to stand in your authority it is not of the light to put up with bullshit it is not of the light to allow people to degrade you um trod trod you down you know a, a trod on you and push you into the mud it's it's not of the light to just put up with that that's martyrdom and that creates a karmic wheel that creates a karmic wheel for both you and the person that is delivering those stones to you um so to be able to enter into your authority into your wisdom into your knowledge in and have this be exuded throughout your auric field through your energy imprint is super important for your individual life and as far as these so-called powers that be it is time that they see this kind of energy coming forward it is time that they see people having an authority over their own lives as guardians of their children they are the authority over their children so it's very it's very um, much much more of a greater importance right now more than ever for us to exude this energy of this very masterful um energy source this very this very resolute energy source because if we are trying to um mimic this and put this out to the world yet we are um we're speaking out about what the government are doing we're speaking out about the 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 discrepancies we're speaking out about the homeless problems we're speaking out about those things that do need to be changed to those people that are paid very very well to change them if we're doing that then we we must from a spiritual point of view we must um not degrade ourselves by putting up with the same kind of um the same kind of indignant uh dirty messy um drama that other people want to bring in that other people it's important that this king of swords does not mess with people that that mess with energy he does not mess with people who don't have authority and divinity over their own thoughts he knows the power of those thoughts are the are the very thing that creates things so he does not have his energy feel dirtied by other people's dirty feet and this is where um when we're doing this in our individual lives putting up with this kind of bullshit but then speaking out against the so-called powers that be there's a discrepancy there there's an energy discrepancy there and so there's chaos ensues in your life because the energy doesn't know which way was so what are you what are you standing for you're not standing for that on the outside world you're not standing for corruption you're not standing for lies on the on the outside world but then you you stand in for and i'm speaking like i'm energy it's not like that but you know for want of better words um but you're not standing for that in your individual life you're putting up with lies you're putting up with tittle tattle you're putting up with bullshit so what do you want that's not how the king of swords works the king of swords is resolute in how his thoughts are processed is resolute very much so in what comes out of his mouth um and he's resolute uh in his individual life first 
and then further out into business, into the so-called powers that be, however, however it resonates with you. Now, this King of Swords is the one that's clarified by the other Wheel of Fortune. So this speaks of, this is how you turn your wheel. This is how you take authority over your own destination, over your own divinity and sovereignty and what you are going to manifest into your life. It is so important from a spiritual point of view to a physical reality point of view right now to do this today and continue to do this, continue to see that the real currency is energy, which is why from the so-called powers that be to those in your individual life, try and manipulate and play with energy a lot of times in a, a negative way, in a, a negative uh, intent. This is where we need to change this as light workers, as authorities that have come to make a difference, that have come to liberate what is going on here, that have come to just liberate and level up themselves for whatever other realms they are dwelling within or are going to dwell within. For those of you who have just come to have this experience and learn how to level up, learn how to meet like the flower under the concrete, meet with the resistance and find a way to continue to level up, to ascend to the light, to absorb the light, to be able to absorb the light right through to your roots. So in your individual life, where you are rooted, that is where the reflection really is. So those of you who are here to make this difference and those of you in your own life, in your own ascension, in your own experience, and then those of you who further out are here and want to make a difference to help liberate others by getting under control these people who have gotten into such negative aspects they're unrecognizable the psychopathic then it's you would better be damn sure that in your individual life like the king of swords you are rooting yourself in truth you are rooting yourself and and what is seen above the flower above the concrete is equal to the roots that you have in your hidden life, in your individual life, in your inner world inside of you. Ask yourself why you are putting up with this if this resonates with you. Why you would put up with this kind of, of childish slander that actually has real negative adult results. Ask yourself, what is it within you that has been trained or conditioned to put up with this? Maybe some of you had the childhoods where it was put up and shut up. Or maybe some of you have, over the years, gained this label from other people that you were a troublemaker when actually you just see how things are and you speak them out because you actually do have other people's um, what wellness and greatness at heart. This is where the King of Swords is not afraid to look at that and take authority over that. Being your own father, you know, guiding yourself in your inner world as to where this got in, as to why you would have allowed this for so long and then releasing it and bang, your wheel starts turning in a more positive way, in a flowing way. You've gone with the ebb and instead of crashing down and, and becoming victim and martyr to these uh, childish people. You've gone within like a warrior, like the King of Swords to cut out, to root out where, where, that, where that space is, where that trigger point is, where that seed is that has been implanted over many years or just within one relationship recently. And digging that out, bang, your wheel starts turning in a different direction. That's you've gone through the ebb, the difficult part of looking within. It's difficult and rooting out those seeds of doubt, those seeds of labels and limitations and conditionings. And all of a sudden you are, can come out with your sword of truth. And because you can be honest with yourself, because you have done this inner work, your sword of truth shines your sword of truth will literally cut through metal because, because it is, it is um, flamed, it is, it, is, uh, it is primed, it is, it is pinpointed 
because you've chiseled it through doing that inner work you're chiseling your sword of truth you're chiseling chiseling what you're capable of in your thoughts therefore what you are capable of of speaking out of your mouth therefore what you create what you manifest this is where your wheel turns. And a lot of you today are taking a hold of this energy, which is why I get a bit excited and a bit on my uh, preaching box, because this is awesome. You are awesome. You are great. And in doing this work, in, in not putting up with what you shouldn't be putting up with in your individual life, your sort of truth is frightening to those that would come to you and try and do that to you, whether it's the so-called powers that be or whether it's others around you. Your auric field, your sword makes it shine, it crystallizes it, it solidifies it while still being in flow and literally repels these people. It's like, <laughs> I just had a vision there of, you know, those um, big bubble suits that you wear, where you look like a sumo wrestler and you, you've got to try and bounce into each other and grab each other to get one to the ground. That's the, the people who are doing this work. You're, you're putting on this, this um, sumo wrestler suit and you're just like walking through the street and it's just like bouncing, people just bouncing off you, you know, bouncing through the street. Yeah, you're going to come at me with that boing and you hardly even have to say anything. So this is powerful today for those of you that take a hold of it and, and grab it for all it's worth and ride it for all it's worth. Ride it like you stole it. And you stole nothing, you worked for it, you did the inner work to get it, cards jump in. So we have the three of swords <laughs> after that. And this is where, um, this is where this work is not without um, um, sorrow and pain, but I really do feel that for those of you who have gone through the work, everything that I've just discussed, this sorrow and pain isn't actually yours to have. Yes, it might feel not so nice, different for a time, um, especially if you're letting go of people and things that you have had in your life for a long time. And maybe doing this work actually reveals, you know, as your wheel turns, other hurts that you have subconsciously known of, of, of those who have been close to you, um, that need to be looked at in the same way that you've looked at the other things that we've discussed already in this reading. And that's okay, that is good. These are showing up to your consciousness because you have just obviously decided that you are strong enough in your authority, having practiced this process already, to actually dig out and root out other things that would cause you to attract things into your life that would seek to limit, control and oppress you. And you're doing it with foresight. You're doing it before they've even come at you. Again, crystallizing your energy field, um, strengthening your sword of truth. Again, this is swords. And so any of those painful, hurtful words that you heard as a child that may come up after this process, any of those things that that um, those physical abuses that you may have gone through. And goodness me, I'm sending you love, whoever this is resonating with right now. You are loved. You are great, you are powerful. And the only reason this is showing up, do not run for it, is because finally you have proved to yourself that you are stepping into your greatness, into your divinity and sovereignty. And therefore your subconscious is releasing it to your consciousness for you to be able to see and deal with it with foresight, with wisdom, with your newly gained skill set and knowledge. So do not be um, in, in, in a demise over this. Do not be in a, a stupor over this. Celebrate this. And I know that sounds crazy to do, but celebrate the fact that finally you are strong enough to look at the deepest, darkest wounds that you've been carrying for a long time. So 
the Ace of Cups comes to clarify <laughs> the Three of Swords. And this is where I am smiling because the Ace of Cups came up yesterday, I'm sure. Um, and I think it came up, I'm sure it came up in a personal reading that I did last night. And this is where this energy of, and the wisdom of self-love, self-care, you know, we, we put a lot of time and effort into self-care with hair and, and face and the outwardness. But in, in spiritual wisdom, in, in having knowledge, um, in spirituality, it is all-encompassing. So we, are, are, we give our thoughts self-care. We give them MOTs regularly. And this is what you're going through here. You, you think, all right, I'm, I've already got the, the car, the mind, the consciousness and subconsciousness, you know, parked up in the, in the ditch. I can look right underneath it and see the engine. And so I, I might as well give it a full MOT while I'm here. Um, you look at your emotional self and you you become accepting of yourself. You, you look at your waters, your emotions, and you put those things through a filter. You filter it out, just like you would filter out water on your kitchen bench. You are capable of, with your thoughts, with your mind, with your newly gained authority and wisdom over your consciousness and subconsciousness and your thoughts and your words, you can actually put your emotions through a filter. You can look at these wounds that you've been carrying and how they um, seek to, like yesterday, have this cup in reverse, empty. And you see how, oh, hold on a minute, I can, I can, put, that, I can put that damn thing through a filter. I can filter it through my thoughts because now I feel strong enough. I feel that I'm in my authority. I feel that I have the wisdom and the knowledge and the skill set to set up that, that, that filter machine within my mind, within my words, and actually start to speak love over myself. If you look at the three circles on this cup and then look at the three of the three of swords, that makes a six with this victory. And it's a very different energy to the three of swords to then the, the three that is represented on this cup. Where your trinity, where your um, combination of self was was broken up, had had daggers through it, you know, had holes in it. You have you have you've emoted that shit, and you've come up with love, self acceptance, self love, giving yourself the kudos that you deserve. So today again, put your sumo wrestler suit on and just boing that stuff off you and absorb the good because while you're in that suit I can just see this energy ramping up of I am great this is my experience this is my saga this is my book and actually I can write myself as a hero so it's a powerful day for uh those who resonate with that individually. Now, this is my battle. I'm trying to give up smoking. So excuse me for vaping. But, um, right, okay, we're going to look at this at the, at the general of the collective stage today. I mentioned uh, Australia, you know, the, the ramping up of that and, and the certain feeling of victory of those who have been asking the Australian government to do something about the shit show that has been, um, you know, people buying up uh, key aspects of land, key ports that would seek to limit um, the, the ability for those who are um, living, who are citizens of that land to, uh, I don't want that, I wasn't ready, to, um, to, for, to gain their abundance, to gain their, their sustenance, to sustain themselves. So I want to speak of, um, okay, so the taken action. Okay, so behind the scenes, uh, the governments, there is a lot of, 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 of chatter going on and uh, there is further action today over uh, Syria. 
um, and further truths for those that seek them to be seen as to what is actually happening. Um, Russia, and I'm not defending any you know, place, I'm just saying what is coming up. Russia is very much getting um, slandered, you know, getting um, the, the blame Russia, Russia, Russia. And actually that is a decoy to what is actually happening uh, by the British government in particular and the US government in particular against Syria and its people um, and and the, that cycle coming to a close it feels like Russia is going to start to really speak out and it would be worth listening to um, regarding the what uh, sly nasty strategies uh, the UK government and the US government have taken no matter who is in uh, rule um, regarding um, regarding the the, the attack on Syria, for sure. We see uh, we see that there is a slight um, pause as to uh, the, in particular, Russia. There seems to be a, a pause, a strategic pause, with this Knight of Pentacles to. Um, not act just yet in their full authority and uh so how does that play out give me some more on that please king of cups in reverse is that they're going to speak out a lot more about um about Trump and his connections to um, Israel and the the uh, how that really was, how that was really reflected. Oh, goodness me, I can't get these ones. I'm going to have to pick those up at the end and clarify with another deck, Jenny. Okay, not that one. This one. There's some kind of emotional speech coming out today that really uh, should not be spoken out uh, with, with some powers that be in the US uh, with that king of cups in reverse. Uh, very, they haven't got the timing right, they haven't read the people right uh, regarding, um, they, they, they just haven't read the energy right and they come out with this ridiculous speech. Uh, this ridiculous statement um, attempting to turn the wheel, attempting to speed things up regarding unrest. Be careful of, thank you, baby. Be careful of, um, you know, riots and things like that. Um, okay, so the Ace of Pentacles. So with this Ace of Pentacles um, coming up on this uh, King of Cups in reverse, there's certain things slipping out today that actually really should not be slipping out as far as the so-called powers that be. They haven't thought about this. That, or they've got somebody who has gotten so deranged in their power that all of a sudden them speaking very emotionally. And I feel this is, you know, I know it sounds crazy, but you know, a lot of this is much more crazy than people realize. It's a woman who is actually a man in power in the US that speaks out about something that, that, that really does, for those who have the knowledge and wisdom to put things together, um, show their really negatively, emotionally charged um, takings of land against all laws, 
ethics, morality. But she's a man. But everybody's believed she's a woman, she's a mother. Wow. And we've got the high priestess in reverse. This person's, she's she's been so wrapped up in the negative aspect and not kept any balance to that, that she she's spun out and but she knows of the occult, she's working with the occult, the hidden um in a negative way. Some kind of connections to a lodge, Freemasonry Lodge. Is a man. Causes conflict, causes five of wands. So conflict on the streets uh, straight after this um, speech, this statement that for those that have the knowledge can put together what she's actually speaking of in some kind of trigger statement, trigger sentence within the statement. Could you pick those up for me, baby? The cards are flying. Thank you, my angel. They, they want to escape from me. You want to escape from me, yeah. These people that I'm reading about want to escape from me, I'm sure. So the moon card, <clears throat> The lies about uh, the, the, the wars that are going to be started to be spoken about with in, in mm -hmm. abundance, uh, the need for laws, the reasons for wars is absolutely um, coming across as the generous benefactors is absolutely, um, you know, they start the war and then they come in to fix the problem uh, is absolutely uh, so dark and so convoluted. But this man that looks like a woman that has been known to be a woman is saying something that really does um show the cards too soon they've put the, they haven't she hasn't bluffed this well at all this is a bumble this is a blunder uh and and it should be you know wish it should be made viral when it happens um the justice card comes out and so this is where those who are taking authority in their own lives again we actively by doing that are putting out the 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 resonance we're putting out the frequency um to say what we will not accept and we will not accept the lies and so the lies are slipping yeah. through their hands like water they can't hold can them with something? that water of the moon um card yeah. wow yeah. Can I tell you something? wow yeah. One second, baby. Can you just pause the video? I'll pause it for one second then. Hey, sorry. Uh, the justice card coming out, it feels like a, an actual judge speaking out about the statement that is made by this woman that is really a man. And with that, there's some, there's some truth coming out for sure. Wow. Oh, well, this will be interesting. So let me know what you catch. Put, uh, leave a comment. I will be catching up. You can tell um, mommy I'm running business and I'm trying to maintain homeschooling. So I'm really sorry. And especially for the new subscribers, I'm really sorry that I haven't been on my game as much as I usually am as to reply into the comments. When I'm on the go, I'm reading them and really appreciating them. So I will be going back over the videos that I haven't managed to reply to. And of course, replying because it means the world to me that you take your time to listen it means the world to me that you take your time to um take the knowledge and wisdom and use it to your best advantage and most of all that that you just uh, that i'm just friends with you all and that i can get to know even the new people um better and and know you well and, and be able to call you a friend so that it means the world to me that you take the time out to leave a comment at all so i do appreciate it and i will get around to them uh, that's the reading for the third of may i'm gonna have to cut it short i'm sorry i wanted to dig into this further but i'll have to sort theodore out and then come back to work um 
so this is for the 3rd of May 2021. Uh, please like, please share and please encourage your friends to join in. Uh, you know, I, it'd be so much easier when I can go live on the go because um, I've always got my cards with me so I can pull them out at any given moment, whether it's in the forest or in the town, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so we'll get in there though. So thank you uh, for those who have given me a chance to be in your sphere and um, call you a friend, brother, a sister. I appreciate you all. Mwah. Much love, balance and wholeness. Wholeness. <laughs>